Hey leaders, week four of our Bound Together series. This week is about how true community is about others. So a couple things to notice. Number one, in the sermon video, Nathan gives us a second to pause and read our scripture together. So be ready to do that, to pause the video you're watching, read the act scripture together, and then you'll start it again and continue the rest of the video. The second thing is that in our getting started questions, there's a couple of spots where you as leaders can share example stories, especially to get their minds thinking of ways they've been selfless, selfish, have had bad motives and things like that. And then the last thing is that basically this week we want to talk about how we oftentimes are selfish in our relationships. We go to our relationships to get something. It benefits us in some way. But that is obviously not the way to build true community. True community happens when you go into relationships wanting to love, to give, to encourage, to be the one that is there for somebody else. And so just helping, looking at Barnabas and Ananias and Sapphira and seeing what the outcomes of those motives are and how that went for them. And why, even though in our flesh we want to be selfish, why the Lord says, well, true community actually happens when you're there for others. So really pulling that out in our students this week. So that's about it. We're praying for you guys. We know last week was really good with authenticity. So don't forget to continue conversations about that. And also we're praying that these students would see that they, there is better things, more things outside of themselves that when the world is telling them, middle schoolers only care about themselves, et cetera, that we can say, no, we believe that you guys can come outside of yourselves, be about others and be selfless and change the world because of that. So super excited, praying for you guys. Have fun.